Hey, Door Rollers, welcome back to the channel. Big news in the budgeting app space. One of the oldest and free budgeting apps is going away. Yes, Mint.com is in the process of closing. Well, the way they describe it, they're migrating. Where are they migrating to? This might surprise you. Credit Karma. Yeah, they're apparently migrating all of their accounts to Credit Karma. What they're doing is inviting Mint.com users to quote unquote link their Mint account to Credit Karma, but what that ultimately does is migrate all of your data over to Credit Karma. I can show you the announcement page is right here. I'll link to everything I show you below the video, so no worries. But this is where they sort of describe what they're doing. And uh, Reddit isn't all that happy with it. Well, first of all, here's a Reddit that just says it's a shame to see it going end of an era. But others are saying, look, the, migra and the migration to Credit Karma is flawed. They're saying there are a lot of important features that are either not supported or limited. I have not verified that. Uh, and, and maybe over time, those features will be added in, in Credit Karma if they are limited or missing at the moment. I don't know. But the big question it raises for a lot of folks is, okay, well, what are the alternatives? What are the options if I don't want to use Credit Karma? So in today's video, I'm going to walk through five options. I've got a little bit, I've got something for everybody, depending on, on how you like to budget. I think you'll find at least one of the five that I'm going to show you a really good alternative. Frankly, I think they're, they're all better than Mint.com, uh, in my opinion. I've used them all. So let's get started. The first one I want to show you is Empower. Here it is. This is a demo account that I've created. This is not my actual data. This is probably the one that's most like Mint.com. Like Mint.com, it's free. It's, it's web-based. It has an excellent uh, smartphone and iPad uh, app. You can track all, track all of your budgeting here. You can create a budget. I've not done it in this demo. I haven't. What you would do is link your bank accounts and your credit cards. I've done that for my personal Empower account. And, and then it just brings in all of your data. I think it does as good a job as any app can with correctly categorizing your transactions. Obviously, you can change those categorizations. It will track your bills for you, as you can see here, and your cash flow. I mentioned it the other day in a video, it tracks your net worth. I think this option is particularly well suited if you have investments that you want to track. 401ks, IRAs, taxable accounts. You can track your HSAs. You can track real estate, crypto. Uh, and it does a great do job. It shows you your allocation. I think in a very easy to understand way, and you can drill down into all of these. It also, by the way, has a great retirement planner. Uh, and you can analyze the fees you're paying on your investments. Uh, as well. And so I think it's a great all-around tool. Frankly, it's, it's, it's much better than Mint.com anyway, so you got that advantage going for you as well. So that's the first on our list. All right, number two, for those of you that love spreadsheets and you want to control your data, right? So with Mint.com, this is true with Empower. It's true with most budgeting apps. They have you know a database where they're storing your transaction data. And that actually, there's some benefits to that because it gives them the ability to, to produce, well, really cool you know, uh, graphics and reports. Uh, but some of you might say, you know, I just prefer to have my own data. Thank you very much. So I've got a solution for you. It's called Tiller. Uh, this is what it uh, looks like. So the way Tiller works is uh, you uh, link your accounts. Again, you can link investment accounts. I, I see Tiller more as a budgeting app, but you can track investments in Tiller. And it will download all of your transaction data and balances to either Google Sheets, that's what I use, or if you don't want your data in the cloud, you can download it to Excel. And what Tiller does is it gives you uh, templates. You can create your own, but it gives you templates. Their, their primary template is called the foundation template, and that's what you're looking at. This is a sort of a screenshot of what the, it would look like. And um, you, you can see you have a number of tabs down here that you can, that you, uh, can use where you track all your categories. You can create a yearly budget. Then you can view your monthly budget. Uh, and you can connect your accounts. You can do auto-categorization, by the way, where, uh, and I, I use this feature a lot, where you know, if, you've, if you, if you um, uh, have a lot of charges to the same uh, business, you can say, hey, whenever a charge comes through from, um, I don't know, McDonald's, uh, categorize it as restaurants or eating out or whatever category you use. And so over time, uh, you get to the point where I only have to manually enter a handful of transactions a month. Most of those, by the way, are checks that we write. Yeah, we still write a few checks every month. There is a learning curve to Tiller. 
Uh, but once you understand it, and they have plenty of, they have a big community, a lot of support. I've, I've, I've met the founder and folks from Tiller. It's, you get a, a, a free trial and then it's, it's only like, it's 79 bucks a year. So I think pretty reasonable. So I've used Tiller now for about three years, like it a lot. So there you go, that's the second option. Obviously it's very different than mint.com, but I think you might, you might like it better. All right, number three, this is for you smartphone folks that you want to budget and you just want to use your smartphone all the time. I think by far and away the best option is Simplify. Here's the page and you can get a, a little bit of an uh, idea of their um, what their smartphone looks like. I'm actually working on being able to show you the app from my iPhone, but that's still a work in progress. It's only, as you can see here, you can get it for as cheap as $239 a month. And you can set goals, obviously categorize your transactions. It looks great on an iPhone. You can track your investments now. That's a fairly new feature of Simplify. And, and this was more recently, so this was actually developed as a smartphone app. They, you couldn't uh, use it on your computer. Now you can, so now you can just go you know, and use it as an app or, or as, a, on, uh, as a website on your computer. Uh, and so that's good. I will say the one downside to this is if you love looking at your, your your budgets on an iPad, not 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 a great experience. It's basically the iPhone on an iPad, so not very good. If that's important to you, Empower uh, is much, much better on an iPad than Simplify. All right, number four, this is sort of uh, marketed as great for couples, but I mean, it, you know, for singles would be great as well. It's called Monarch. Here it is, this is actually my uh, account. Um, I don't use it regularly. Uh, but as you can see, it's got a great dashboard. You can you can set up goals. I haven't set any up with Monarch. I was using it just as a test. Uh, of course, they call it a plan. That's your budget, but you can set up uh, a budget. Um, you can set up recurring charges, and you can see it's got a calendar. Um, and so that can be very, very helpful just to see uh, a, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of folks want to see their budget on a calendar basis, particularly if it's important to them when bills uh, come due and they're trying to you know, figure out when they're gonna get paid next and everything there. You can see it all in a calendar view. A lot of budgeting apps today don't have cal great calendar views. I don't know why, but it just seems to be my experience. A lot of them don't. Monarch Money does. So there you go. I think that's a great option. Again, I'll leave links to all of these below the video. All right, the fifth and final one may surprise folks, but it's just good old fashioned Quicken. Now, I'll be honest, Quicken, you can get it for the PC or the Mac. I've used both of them. It's it's frankly at this point not my most favorite budgeting app. But why am I mentioning it? It's kind of got a traditional feel with a check register and all of that sort of thing. And a lot of folks just prefer that. Plus, it's actual software on your computer. Now, it is a subscription model, but it's actual software on your computer. And some folks just prefer that over an app-based solution. No problem there. Uh, it's not very expensive. I'm actually showing you, we talked about Simplify because that's part of the Quicken company, uh, but here's Quicken uh, Classic, and you can, as you can see, you can get it for the Mac or Windows. There's Premiere, it's only $4.19 a month. Deluxe is even less than that, just $2.99, which may be all that you need. And it does pretty much everything you would expect it to do. You do your budget, you can plan, set goals, and of course, you can track all of your investments in one place. So. If you're actually looking for a software solution as opposed to a smartphone app uh, or something that where you're going to have to sort of log in online, Quicken is, is, I think, probably the best solution, certainly one of the best solutions available today. So there you go. That's the news. Mint.com is, I don't know, closing, maybe migrating to Credit Karma. I'm not sure how you want to. Do, I don't know if it's closing and you can just go to Credit Karma. I guess it's migrating, I don't know. In any event, I think there are a lot of great options out there that frankly are better than mint.com anyway. Some are free like Empower. The rest though, I think are all very reasonably priced, a couple of bucks a month. So there you go. Now, if you have a favorite budgeting app that I haven't mentioned that you think deserves uh, attention here, please let us know. Leave a, a note in the comments below. Let us know what budgeting app you like. And I'm, like I said, I'm an app junkie, so I like to learn about all of the different apps and calculators I can, so would love to hear from you in the comments below. Until next time, remember, the best thing money can buy is financial freedom.